So the other day on the phone list, there was some discussion about an old 1A2 key system feature called hold on hold, where if you were put on hold, you could actually put the held call on hold yourself, and when somebody came on the line again, it would ring you back. And now today, that exact feature in, in that exact form would be less useful because we have hold music and all kinds of annoying announcements that come on over and over again. And the 1A2 hold on hold feature, I believe, uh, was just trying to distinguish silence from any kind of audible activity. But Google recently debuted a similar feature called Hold For Me, which is able to apparently quite accurately discern human voice from hold music and automated announcements, that kind of thing. And of course, it's only available for their line of mobiles, so it's, it's not... Um, very useful in that sense, but um, Asterisk uh, easily allows you to set up something similar. And so what I've done is I've used voice activity detection and answering machine detection and a few other Asterisk functions to put together a, a sort of modern day simple hold on hold type feature for a modern call. It's not perfect as you can imagine, it's not an easy task. Um, voice activity detection and answer machine detection are not perfect by any means, but surprisingly it works reasonably well with the test line that I've set up. So that's what I'll be demoing here. And I set up a test line to mimic an annoying call center, which basically plays annoying, well not annoying, but it plays hold music for a random amount of time and then rings uh, this phone up here. And then I can just pretend to be some lousy underpaid call center representative. And I have the hold on hold feature set up as a vertical service code. So right now it's vertical service code 08 to activate and 09 to deactivate. And I can dial any seven digit network number or an 11 digit toll free number. And then I'll record something for the agent to hear when he answers while I'm getting rung back. So that basically, the whole point of that is to buy me some time so that the agent doesn't hang up. And the call will uh, go through after I record that. And if I hang up at any point, hold on hold will monitor the line and ring me back when it thinks that a human has answered or is answering. And at the same time, I will play that recording to keep the agent on the line. Again, buy me some time to answer the phone again. And if it turns out to be a false alarm, as occasionally it does, I can just hang up again, the feature will reactivate, and it'll get cancelled eventually when either the called party hangs up, uh, or I can dial vertical service code 09 to tear it down at any point. And if I'm paranoid about the call, um, you know, whatever is going on, I want to get back in for whatever reason, I can dial vertical service code 8 again, and since it's already activated, I'll just rejoin the active call. So with that, let's do a demo. So I don't have any phones with gong ringers with this speaker phone. So I'll just use a verification trunk um, to tap the line and put that on speaker phone. Okay, so now if you go off hook here. Okay, so we can hear that. So I've done several tests already, and it works, I'd say, with maybe about 90% accuracy. Um, it's it's sort of been, it's kind of different every time, but it seems to work about 90% um, of the time. So I'll dial a vertical service code 8 to activate. And I'll just dial the test number that I have set up. Please leave a message after the tone, and the representative will contact you as soon as possible. Hello? Uh, sorry about that. Thank 
calling today. You seem impatient. Okay, and so calls on hold now. And don't know for how long exactly, but um, now when I hang up, the feature will activate. And so obviously this line is not in use, so I can't monitor it. Okay, so that time it was not accurate. You you can see that it it thought a human had answered, and that was a uh, a false positive there. And it seems to be that specific part of that hold music actually, because it seems to happen in that specific part every time. But we'll see how it works. And I here on the console. Um, it's monitoring the line, and in this case, this is the answering machine detection test, and it's just uh, doing some tests here to see if uh, if it thinks that a human is, is on the line or not. And if it says not sure, then it's just going to loop again and keep doing that. But uh, for certain results, uh, it will um, it will ring the line back. So I think at this point we're still waiting for the hold music to end and for the representative to be called back, which um, I think is about to happen now because that extension just exited. Microsoft tech support, how can I help you? Yeah, and the recording is playing there. It's not the answer. Hello, hello. Okay, and I'll hang up. So you can hear in that case, the phone actually started ringing back as soon as, um, well, before I even answered. So I think it's, it was probably catching the ring back tone and treating that as um, a voice. And that's just because of the parameters that I've set for AMD. Uh, it's, it's going to probably interpret ring back tone as as some kind of uh, either as a voice or a machine, which is really okay because you only hear ringback tone typically right before an agent answers. So if you get back on the line before, like a few seconds before the answer, right as the answer, even better in my opinion. So I think that's probably okay. But in that case, we can we can see that there is one false alarm and then it rang me back right as the agent answered. And um, you know, it wasn't it had nothing to do with. Uh, the whole music exiting was purely the monitor in the channel listening for basically interpreting the audio and analyzing it and determining if it was a human answering or if it was just noise or background music or, or whatever. So, um, if we do that again, which we can try one more time, I think. Sorry, I thought I had this and you didn't. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for calling today. You seem impatient. Okay, so here we can just see it's gonna randomly it just randomly chose to wait hundred and four seconds before it rings the agent. So I'll hang up now and it'll activate the feature. And it's going to start doing answering machine detection relatively soon. 
And the way I have it, it's not really using answering machine detection to detect an answering machine. In fact, if I detect a machine, I ring the caller because I, I figured with the, the parameters I was using, if a detected machine, it was actually probably a legitimate reason to ring the caller back. But most of the time it's just gonna say too long or not sure, or too long and not sure. In that case, I just loop again. So I think we've got another minute or so before uh, this call center representative phone gets rung. It's actually a little bit more obvious on this console that it's doing uh, a bunch of things during each test to detect what is going on exactly. To try to see what that is. And there's that. Microsoft Tech Support, how can I help you? Okay, so you probably can hear that, but that was that. Uh, if I pick up. I'm connected with the call center agent, and I didn't have to listen to any of that whole music. So this time it actually worked perfectly. There were uh, no false positives at all, and right after I answered it, it rung me back. And it, it probably wasn't actually me answering that time either, it was probably the ring back tone that got it. But it did ring me back exactly at the right time, so this time it actually worked pretty well. Anyways, that's about it for this demo. Obviously, this is in the very alpha stages of testing right now. Um, and it's available on my Switch to all hosted users, so um, feel free to mess with it with the obvious disclaimer that accuracy is not guaranteed. Obviously, the test line that I set up is not representative of all on-hold experiences. You can imagine um, some are probably more difficult for something like this to analyze and make a decision based on. So accuracy is not guaranteed, but if there are issues, I'm certainly interested in improving it. Um, and it's definitely a work in progress that I'll continue to build out. But as for me, I'll be using it when I call customer service lines in the future. So that hold on hold can hold my call for me and I can get back to doing other things in the meantime and not have to listen to uh, whatever hold music or prompts they're playing.